All right, so in today's video, I'll be setting up a new scape, um, but before I begin any of that, I do need to grab some more plants. So why don't we run down to my local fish store and see what they got. So I'm here at the Pet Depot in Eva Beach, Hawaii. Um, I came here looking for some plants, um, specifically some uh, carpeting plants. Um, all of these are Ultim Nature System uh, tissue cultures. The only carpeting plants that they have right now are Crypt, Parva, and Dwarf Hairgrass. Um, I'm probably gonna go with the Dwarf Hairgrass because um, Crypt Parva does take a long time to grow out and I want a carpet as soon as possible. Also, I do like the look of dwarf hair grass, so I'm probably just gonna grab a few tissue cultures and I should be all set. All right, so I'm back. Um, the tank is ready to be rescaped. Um, but before I begin, I just wanna thank um, the people at the Pet Depot Hawaii um, for letting me film today. Um, they're really nice about it and it was really fun seeing the lionfish feed. Um, I was kinda tempted to pick one up for myself, but it's a really great store. If you do live here on Oahu, I do recommend that you go check them out. You'll probably find something that you will like. But anyways, I'm now ready to escape. Um, I have a lot of moss over here. That's just spiky moss. Um, and in this tank, um, I'll have a lot of cool and rare, well, maybe not rare for some people, but kind of exotic Anubiuses. For example, I have Anubius pangolino, Anubius stardust. Also, I don't know how long these are gonna last, but um, these are just some really small pieces of Anubius Snow White. I'm just going to try to grow them out in this tank, see what happens, but those are really small. I also have some boosies in here, I have some boost flanger red mini, um, and you know some other boost species. And then I have some Alternantheria Renekii, um, and this is Alternantheria Renekii variegated, um, that's what I bought it as. Um, I do kind of have a lot of Dragonstone. So, why don't I begin on that and then I'll um, do an update. Alright, so everything's all set. Um, it may not look the nicest right now, but um, this is what I have so far. So, um, all along this rock area over here, I have some Anubiuses. Um, there's the Stardust, um, the Pongolino, and you know some Booses. Um, and here's all the alternate theria and uh, I have some more over here as well. Um, yeah, and I just have so much spiky moss. Um, that just grew over time and I even have some more that I'm you know just gonna grow out and sell but also over here I have the dwarf hair grass um, tissue cultures that I planted all along the front and that uh, back right side of the tank so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna fill this up with water and see how everything looks after that alright so I filled the tank up with water um, when I was doing that, a lot of the dwarf hair grass started to rise up and it's kind of a pain to replant dwarf hair grass because if I plant one in the ground, um, normally a lot of the other ones surrounding that um, dwarf hair grass start to rise up and it's just a continuous cycle of just trying to keep the hair grass in the ground but um, it did take a long time but it finally worked out. I'm sorry this tank is so murky. Um, I'm just going to let it sit overnight. I'm going to add a filter to this tank. Um, the filter is just going to help make the water a little clearer and um, it's also going to help cycle the tank. Um, and I'll add the fish tomorrow. I'm going to put my pair of Adaka rice fish in this tank along with some 24 karat gold shrimp and an epistogramma. But I'll be uploading photos of this tank on my Instagram so if you don't follow that, please go do that. That's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.